just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Stop me. Hey, Saying boy. that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna... Be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply. Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. That's classic, Piper. Lots of talking, hey, Dan. lots of lying, and if you spend enough time with her, there'll be a lot of prying. She's a pain in the ass. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep... That gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped for part. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. I always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure you're safe. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> no. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. 
New mission objective received. Anything you want to talk about? You're Sullivan, right? Hey. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Head on inside. Not yet. Hey. Got a question? Should talk to Sullivan. Why is that? 